here we're going to begin our discussion of functions and their graphs. So first, the definition of a function. We say that a function, f, is a special relationship or rule that assigns each x value in its domain to exactly one y value in that function's range. So a helpful way to think about this is the following. So here is a tip to help you as you're checking if a relation of ordered pairs or if the graph really represents a function. So the first is that one x value cannot have two or more y values. We also want to keep in mind that two different x values can have the same y value. Now, how do we denote a function? So we use the following for function notation. We say that y is equal to f of x. And this is going to be such that our x value is called the input. The y value here is called the output. So we can see from our function notation how we are putting this x value into the function and out pops its corresponding y value. So with this function notation, we can clearly see the corresponding ordered pair form. In ordered pair form, we say that a function can be defined as x, y, where x, our input, remains the same, and we can rewrite y in its equivalent function form. Now, in the definition, we mention the function's domain and branch. But what exactly are these? So we say that the domain is the following. So our domain consists or is the set of all input values, aka x values, that are producing a real valued output. And we can say for the domain that x is an element of our domain d. Now what about the range? So the range corresponds to our function's domain in that the range is the set of all possible real valued outputs for the function. So for the range, we say that y is an element of capital R for range.